huge. So clearly there's a lot of controversy today about the endorsement by yes. the Congressional yeah. Black Caucus PAC. Yes, yes. <laughs> and I ju Keith Ellison said that he wasn't even consulted about it. So. Yeah, Congressman yeah. Ellison did say he wasn't consulted. And again, it's the PAC and not the CBC. You know, listen, people are excited when they get endorsement. Every candidate is. I was when I got endorsements too. But endorsements at the end of the day don't vote. People do. And it really is about who has the message to lift the people. And I certainly believe that that is Senator Bernie Sanders. And I guess I hadn't really heard the specifics of it today, but... There were people saying that he wasn't. <laughs> they, they're trying to tra the trying to challenge movement. his record. There's lots of people in the civil rights movement that one that one person or another might not know. I mean, for example, in Cleveland, a uh, Reverend Bruce Clunder, who laid down in front of a bulldozer in Cleveland to stop the building of desegregated schools and was killed by that bulldozer. I'm sure many people don't know him. He was a white minister. So again, there are lots of people who have been in the civil rights struggle. There's enough room for everybody in this struggle. So for anybody to say that that he has not been actively engaged. All of his young, starting as a young man, all the way up until this point, he has been fighting for social justice and equality for all people. And so the voters are ultimately going to be d deciding that. And just like the voters in New Hampshire, across uh, uh, di uh, diverse groups from young people, college educated, not college educated, young, a little more seasoned, over overwhelmingly supported Senator Sanders, the more his message resonates out there, the more people are going to gravitate to him. I fully believe that. But ultimately, regardless of who endorses whom, the voters will have the final say. And that's the beautiful thing about this democracy. And it's kind of over. I, I've only seen the endorsement of Harry Belafonte in press releases. I haven't seen the media even talk about that. Well, this. as we know, before Senator Sanders, uh, before there was a dead heat in Iowa, the corporate media rarely paid any attention to him. Uh, Mr. Trump really took all the oxygen out. People thought Senator Sanders was a fringe candidate until that neck to neck, almost uh, virtually a tie between him and the secretary. And then overwhelmingly, he won New Hampshire. So now the corporate media is paying a little more attention to Senator Sanders and his message. And now his message is getting out um, to, a, to a broader audience, not just through social media. So we know that not only did Harry, Harry Belafonte endorse uh, Senator Sanders, there's been countless state level African-American elected officials and other elected officials across this country, both former and current, who have been endorsing him. They are actors who have endorsed Senator Sanders. But the endorsement that matters the most is the endorsement of the people, and that is what he is out there fighting for, talking about his message of universal health care, increasing the minimum wage, expanding and protecting Social Security. Those are the things that people want to hear about. The, the American people could give less than a care about who's endorsing whom. What they really want to know is, what have you done for me lately? Who is going to to be the one that will take it to the status quo on behalf of the Americans, and I firmly believe that it is Senator Bernie Sanders. Okay, thank you.